Question 7. The volume of a cup of soup served by a machine is normally distributed with a mean of 240 milliliters and a standard deviation of 5 milliliters. A fast food store used this machine to serve 160 cups of soup. The question is asking for the number of these cups of soup that are expected to contain less than 230 milliliters of soup. Let's draw the curve for the normal distribution, where the mean is 240 milliliters and the standard deviation is 5 milliliters. To get to 230 milliliters, we subtract one standard deviation to get to 235 and another standard deviation to get to 230. We are interested in the percentage less than 230 milliliters. Two standard deviations to the left of the mean represents 95% divided by 2, which is 47.5%. The percentage less than 240, which is the mean, is 50%. So if we take away 50 minus 47.5, then this gives us 2.5%. However, the question is asking for the number of these cups of soup. So 2.5% of 160 cups is equal to 4 cups. So the answer we are after is option B, 4. From the 2019 VC examination report, 72% of students chose the correct option. Question 8. Percy conducted a survey of people in his workplace. He constructed a two-way frequency table involving two variables. One of the variables was attitude towards shorter working days, for or against. The other variable could have been... Now, since this is a two-way frequency table, two categorical variables are required. So the option we are after is option B, sex, male and female. All the other options are numerical variables. From the 2019 VC examination report, 63% of students had the correct option. Use the following information to answer questions 9 and 10. A least squares line is used to model the relationship between the monthly average temperature and latitude recorded at seven different weather stations. The equation of the least squares line is found to be average temperature equals 42.98422 take away 0.877447 times latitude. In question 9, we are asked to determine the equation of the least squares line that has the numbers correctly rounded to three significant figures. 42.9842 becomes 43.0 to three significant figures and 0.877447 becomes 0.877 correct to three significant figures. So the answer we are after is option E. From the 2019 VC examination report, 67% of students had the correct option. Question 10. The coefficient of determination was calculated to be 0 0.893743. The question is asking for the value of the correlation coefficient rounded to three decimal places. The correlation coefficient, r, is equal to square root of the coefficient of determination, that is, square root of 0 0.893743, which is 0 0.945, or negative 0 0.945. Since the least squares line has a negative gradient, this means that r has a negative value. So the answer we are after is option A, negative 0 0.945. From the 2019 VCE examination report, 41% of students had the correct option. Question 11. A study was conducted to investigate the effect of drinking coffee 
on sleep. In this study, the amount of sleep in hours and the amount of coffee drunk in cups on a given day were recorded for a group of adults. The following summary statistics were generated. The question is asking to determine the amount of sleep on average for each additional cup of coffee drunk. Amount of coffee drunk is the explanatory variable and hours of sleep is the response variable. The gradient of the least squares line is equal to the correlation coefficient r times the standard deviation for the variable sleep divided by the standard deviation for the variable cups of coffee. From the table given, this equals negative 0.770 times 1.12 divided by 1.56 which is equal to negative 0.5528. So the answer we are after is option A, decreased by 0.55 hours. From the 2019 BC examination report, only 37% of students had the correct option.